Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write python program to add two matrices so guys in python we can implement a matrix as a nested list that is list inside another list over here so we can treat each element as a row of a matrix so guys we are going to have list inside another list and that is the way we are going to represent the matrices in python program so guys for example let's say the variable that is x it is a matrix so as you can see we have the main list over here and inside this we have more list so 1 2 are the elements of one list which is part of this entire list and then the second list that we have is 4 and 5 the third list that we have is 3 and 6 so guys this would represent a 3 into 2 matrix so guys why 3 into 2 because every time whenever we represent a matrix the first number will be the number of rows and the second number will be the number of columns so guys over here this we have one row then again we have second row over here and we have third row over here and in all the rows the number of columns will be equal that is this is the first column having the element 1 and this is the second column that is having the element 2 so to make it more clear what we will do is i'll just copy this matrix and paste this over here now guys how this is represented is the second row will be this one that is 4 and 5 and the third row will be this third list that is 3 and 6 so guys this is the way that the matrix is represented over here so we have the open and close square brackets initially and then we have the first row then we have the second row and then we have the third row and all the rows are having two columns that is 1 4 and 3 are belonging to one column and the 2 5 and 6 elements are belonging to the second column and this is because we are saying it as a 3 into 2 matrix that is having 3 rows and 2 columns over here. Now guys the first row can be selected as x0 and the element in the first row first column can be selected as x0 and then 0 again. So guys this is x0 over here which represents the first row. This will be x1 which represents the second row and then we have x2 as well over here and so on. And if we want to access the first element inside the first row, we can use x0 and then 0 again in the second square brackets over here. And then if we want to access this element, it will be x0 and then 1. So this is x00, this is x01, then again we have x10, then this is x11, then we have x20, x21. So guys, let us see how we can add two matrices using the Python program. So over here in the VS code, what we will do is the very first thing is we are going to define the first matrix so let's say we have the matrix x it is equal to and then we have a list inside this so i'll make it very easy in order to understand by using the proper structure of the matrix over here so the very first row let's say it is having three elements so let's say we have one two three as the elements for the first row and then followed by comma then the second row is having more elements so let's say we have two three four and then comma and then let's say we have another list of elements over here 3 4 and then 5 so guys we are going to use the 3 into 3 matrix over here since it is having 3 rows and 3 columns now guys similarly we will have another matrix so let's say i'll simply copy this line of code and then paste this over here and then we name this matrix as y in this case so the matrix name is y and then guys over here let's say we keep the values same that is 1 2 3 2 3 4 and 3 4 5 we simply need to add the two matrices now guys when we add two matrices this element that is the first row and first column will be added to this element that is first row and first column of another matrix similarly the element that is 2 of the matrix x will be added to this element that is 2 of the matrix y and so on the positions will be considered over here while adding the two matrices and their elements so guys what we will be doing is we will have the third matrix over here which will be the result in this case so over here we will just name it as result and this time what we will do is we will change the content of this matrix so what we will do is initialize this matrix as 0 0 0 and then we have the second row again we have 0 0 0 and then again we have the third row as 0 0 0 so guys one condition in order to add the two matrices is that you need to have the same number of rows and columns in both the matrices in order to add them so in this case we are having 3 into 3 matrix and the result matrix will be also 3 into 3 and we are going to have the sum of both the matrices in this result matrix now guys it is very simple we need to just iterate through these matrices and add those numbers and store it in the result matrix so what we can do is we can use the for loop and then we have i 
n and then we need to find the length of the first matrix so over here we can simply use the len method and then inside this we will have x so guys this will return us the length of the matrix which means it will return us the number of rows inside this matrix over here which is 3 and then guys what we need to get is we need to have another for loop over here so after this first for loop we are going to have a nested for loop this time we are going to use the value j and then n and then again we need to get the length but this time we need to get the number of columns for this matrix that is x so guys over here what we can simply do is we can use the x matrix and then followed by 0 over here which means it refers to the first row so guys the remaining rows are also having the same number of columns so we can simply use the first row in order to get the number of columns inside that matrix so i is representing the number of rows over here and j is representing the number of columns over here now guys simply we can use the colon and then what we can do is we can add all the elements from both the matrices that is x and y so guys over here what we will do is we will use x followed by i and then j over here so initially it will be 0 0 and then since j value is incrementing it will be 0 1 and then 0 2 the next time the control flow will go over here and then it will increment the value of i so this time it will be 1 0 and then 1 1 and then 1 2 and so on all the elements will be accessed and then what we have to do is we need to add those elements of the x matrix with the elements in the y matrix at the same position so y so we have this plus operator over here followed by the y matrix and then followed by i and then j so guys we have added both the elements now we need to store it inside the result matrix so what we can do is we can simply assign it to the result matrix over here with the positions that is i and then we have j over here followed by equal to operator so guys this is the way that we have easily accessed the elements of the matrices x and y on these positions that is i and j and stored the sum of these elements inside the result matrix now guys we can simply print this result matrix in order to get the sum of two matrices so over here we can simply have another loop for r in result variable over here followed by colon and then we can simply print this r over here so when we print this r we should get the result matrix being printed on the console so guys let me just save this file now and try running this code so guys we are getting this error that is type error int object is not iterable so guys one mistake that we have done over here is we have found the integer value by using the length function over here but in order to use the for loop we need to get some kind of range so over here what we will do is this length function needs to be enclosed within the range function so we will use the range function over here and enclose this entire length of x inside the range function similarly over here in the second for loop as well we need to use the range function Function. so we will use the range function over here so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again so as you can see we have got the result matrix it is saying 2 4 6 4 6 8 and then 6 8 10 so guys if we verify this the first element is 1 over here and the second element is also 1 so 1 plus 1 it is equal to 2 then we have 2 plus 2 it is equal to 4 and then the third element it is 3 and then 3 again so 3 plus 3 it is equal to 6 if we see the last element that is 5 and then over here the last element that is 5 over here 5 plus 5 should be 10 and that is what we have got over here on this position that is 10. So guys this is the way that we can easily add the two matrices simply by representing the matrix as a list inside another list over here. And simply by using one line of code inside the nested for loops we can add the two matrices. So guys please practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs. Make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is python program to transpose a matrix so stay tuned